This video is about catches in Rocket League Sideswipe. I've spent the past three weeks doing basically nothing else other than learning and perfecting these catches, some of which I streamed over on Twitch and even on YouTube. However, in this video, not only will I teach you how to do all of them and give you my best tips to help you learn them quickly, I'll also show you hand cams on both touch and controller from two of the most talented Saitai players in the world. And on top of that, I'll also show you my own personal training routine that I used to learn all these catches that took me from this horrible incompetence to scoring bangers like this in live matches. It is the ultimate guide to catches in Rocket League Sideswipe. Okay, the first catch on the list is the purple catch. This is the easiest of the four in my opinion, and so we're gonna start here, but also we're gonna cover a lot of tips in this one because the tips for this one also apply to a lot of the others. So this one will be the longest and then the others will be a little bit shorter. To start off, get the ball into this position with the bottom of your car facing upwards towards the ball. The momentum of your car should be moving at least slightly up towards the ball. Then let go of joystick and press jump to do a purple shot. And now for the catch. Immediately aim up towards the ball and press and hold boost. This will then push your car up towards the ball, at which point you can aim forward to put the bottom of your car on the ball, get a flip reset, and there's your purple catch. Here's a touch hand cam by Jelly showing how to perform the purple catch. And here's a controller hand cam by Reflex showing him doing it. One of the first problems you might encounter when trying this mechanic early on is when you do your purple shot, your car will get pushed down towards the ground. And then you'll have to fly really far and use a ton of boost in order to get the catch. Which, yeah, doesn't really work. The reason for this is related to this step here. The momentum of your car should be upwards. Basically, your car was not moving this way fast enough when you did your purple shot. As you can see, if your car is not moving up or is even moving down when you do your purple shot, you go down. Whereas if your car is moving up, you barely move at all or just go down a little. The solution to this is simple. Just make sure your car is moving upwards a fair bit when you do your purple shot, then your car will still be within reach of the ball and you can get your catch. The other really good tip to get this one right is again when you're doing your purple shot. Try to aim up and boost as soon as humanly possible. I recommend pressing boost at pretty much the same time as jump and then aiming up immediately after. As with our last tip, this will help us stay within range of the ball and get our catch as soon as possible. The next catch on our list is the purple ceiling reset catch. But first, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play games in a different region or browse the web securely, ExpressVPN is how you do it. I can tell you from experience, it 100% works. And honestly, the ping's actually decent too. And right now, every single Mogs viewer is gonna get a huge discount of three months off all 12 month subscriptions, meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. How good is that? So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen and in the video description. 
This one starts out with the ball and our car's momentum moving up towards the ceiling with the bottom of our car again facing the ball. The best way to do this really is just to stall chain up to the ceiling. The next step is for the ball to make contact with the ceiling and for the bottom of our car to make contact with the ball, creating this delicious car ball ceiling sandwich. Mm. Then without touching joystick, press jump to do a purple shot, which should also give us a flip reset. And then as the ball and our car fall down, do a stall. And there's your purple ceiling reset catch. Here's our touch cam from Jelly. And here's our controller hand cam from Reflex. So by far the two most important elements of this move are one, your car's speed, and two, your car's angle when it makes contact with the ball. If you want the ball to stay in about the same place after the purple reset and not go flying off to the side, we really need to make sure our speed is not too fast. If it is, our car gets pushed off to the side, resulting in our purple shot pushing the ball out like this. And if our angle is not perfectly horizontal, the same thing happens. So unless you want the ball to pop out like this, make sure you're horizontal and you're not moving up too fast. Okay, and now for our two gold catches, the regular gold catch and the gold follow catch. So these two catches are actually extremely similar to the first one, the purple catch, and really pretty much every step and tip is identical. The only change for the gold catch is that rather than letting go of joystick during this part and doing a purple shot, we need to of course hold away from the ball and do a gold shot. And then the only change from that for the gold follow catch is that we then also need to immediately hold back towards the ball to do the follow through gold shot. And here are our obligatory hand cams, first from Jelly. And now our hand cams from Reflex. Okay, so by far the most important tip that I can give you for getting these gold catches that doesn't really apply at all to the purple ones is that if you're doing stalls before you do your gold shot, make sure you only tap jump on your final stall. I struggled so hard getting my gold shots when I was learning this mechanic, and then as soon as I figured out I needed to tap jump instead of holding it, it became a million times easier. So take the ball up, do your stalls, and then on the last one, tap jump, and boom, there's your gold catch. Okay, and now for the fifth and final catch, the most difficult of all, the purple wall catch. 
This one, as I said, is incredibly difficult. It first consists of a mid-air purple reset, which are extremely difficult to consistently just by themselves. However, to make matters worse, this has to be done in the perfect position and at the perfect angle to bounce the ball off the wall. Then you need to use your flip that you just got from the reset to catch the ball, and usually follow that up with maybe a gold shot. It's just a bloody nightmare. So to start off, get your car into this position with the bottom of your car on the ball. You should be kind of somewhat near the wall. Then as soon as we approach the wall, press jump to get a purple reset, which pushes your car back and usually down. This will bounce the ball off the wall. Then you use your flip to get back up to meet the ball in midair, get a flip reset, and there's your purple wall catch. Alright guys, so I'm just editing the video now and it turns out that that third step where you flip up to the ball and get a reset is kind of unnecessary and it's just a little bit too difficult. So for an easier version of this mechanic, I recommend taking out that third step of flipping up to the ball and replacing it with just a shot. So you could be a red shot, could be a gold shot, could be a stall even, or whatever you want. But I think that flip towards the ball is not super necessary. The most important tip I can give you for this move is regarding that first part of it, the purple reset. I've got a tip that came directly from Reflex himself, which honestly revolutionized the way I think about purple resets. Basically, there's a point around the nose of your car where if it comes in contact with the ball, will kind of magnetize your car to the ball. It's something we've all known about for a long time, but I think this is the first time we've actually found a real use for it. So to do your purple reset consistently, you basically want to look to do this magnetic move in midair, and then without touching your joystick, boost a little to push your car up so that the bottom of your car is on the ball, and then press jump and boom, there's your purple reset. And then the rest of the move is really just all about getting the angle and distance from the wall ride, and then aiming your flip right to get the catch. It's a nightmare, it's a big headache. Jelly, Reflex, show us how it's done, guys. Okay, so now that we've covered how to do every single one of those five catches, now it's time for me to show you my training routine. But before we do that, I just want to say a massive thank you to both Jelly and Reflex for their help making this video. Both of these guys have their own Sideswipe YouTube channels, which I highly recommend you guys go check out. They are both incredibly talented players. So a huge thank you to them for their help with this video and for all videos in the past and I'm sure in the future. Both of you are absolute legends. So that's it for my gushing, let's jump into free play. All right, so this video is already ridiculously long, so I'm just gonna try to keep this really brief. Essentially, the way that I trained these catches was to start out by doing some drills to improve my control of the ball in the air when doing stalls, as well as my awareness of the position of my car, whether it's air rolled this way or this way. And honestly, this second thing is probably the most important part of all of these catches. Knowing which way your car is air rolled at all times is basically the key. So I did two stall drills and then I started implementing the catch mechanics into those. The first one I did is something that I called back and forth switches. This is where you stall one side, then turn, air roll, stall the other side, and then repeat. This basically trains your ability to quickly adjust in midair and get another stall, which is really important when doing catches. So I repeated that for quite a while until I was really comfortable with it, and then I started another drill that I called no flip catches. Basically with this one, you just want to use your flip and then try to catch the ball with a flip reset. This simulates those situations that will happen often where you mess up a stall, and then you have to catch the ball to get your flip back.
Okay, and now once we're comfortable with both of those, we can start adding some of our catch mechanics. So do some switches and no flip catches. Then add a purple shot off the ceiling, get a catch, and then we can continue with our drills. An important note when practicing the purple catch is don't only practice it far from the ceiling. When you're really far from the ceiling, it's easy to get the purple catch, and so this is a great starting point. But basically, when doing this training, you want to get increasingly close to the ceiling when doing your purple catches, because the closer you are, the less time you have to get it. And so it's a really good practice. So then, once we're comfortable with our purple catches, then we want to add a gold shot to the end of the catch. So take the ball up, do our purple shot, catch it, and then immediately get a gold shot. And now we're going to move on to the purple ceiling reset catch. So training this one for me was pretty simple. I just started out by dribbling the ball, keeping it as still as possible, then stall chaining up to the ceiling, getting a purple ceiling reset, catching it with a stall, and then repeating. The best tip for this is that if you're struggling to get the ball still, try doing it in the hoops arena during the kickoff, because this is by far the easiest way to just get that really vertical stall chain up to the ceiling, then getting a purple ceiling reset. Once we get comfortable with that, we want to try doing the same, but with the ball moving, taking it from a moving dribble up to the ceiling, as well as popping it up and then trying to catch it mid-air. And again, try to mix in some other mechanics too to practice them all together. And that's pretty much it really. In terms of the gold catch and the gold follow catch, I really just practiced them with everything else. And I practiced them kind of the same way that I did the purple catch. So I don't really have any specific tips for these. And the wall catch is the only move that I didn't really practice much at all, so I don't have any tips for you there. I guess my main tip would be just try to be like Reflex. And that's it guys, that is my video about catches in Sideswipe. Honestly, I have been wanting to make a video about catches for such a long time. It's something that I never learned myself and every single time I see high level players or really mechanical players doing it, I just think I wanna learn that and I wanna bring it to the rest of the community. So I really hope the video was helpful and yeah, if it was helpful, hit the like button and let me know down below which of these catches you've been able to get into your game. And let me know your rank as well. And if the video wasn't helpful and it's something you already knew how to do or you just thought the video was trash, hit the dislike button, that's totally fine. And as always guys, come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.